Welcome to a brand new episode of the Doa and Deuce Podcast. I'm Doa. I'm Deuce. And this is our review for Power Season 5, Episode 2, Damage Control. All right. Before we get started, don't forget, support the movement, ensure brand, ensure brand, small business, you know what I'm saying, free shipping. You already know. And on top of that, we got um, another video. If y'all didn't check it out yet, we ranked our top five most hated okay. power characters coming to this, to, to this season. So I'm going to leave a link in the description on the comments. Go ahead and check it out. Leave a comment on that. Yeah. And on top of that, stick around for the whole episode. We're going to pick our power character of the week. Uh-huh. Something new. Yeah. Every week we're going to pick a power character who made power moves. Power moves. All the things. <laughs> Right. <laughs> power character, power Making moves. power moves. All right, so the episodes um, opens up. You know, you got um, you got the uh, port. Yeah, <laughs> maybe the dumbest gun scene in the world. <laughs> but you got the what was the uh, him, uh, it was Toro? The, was, the, to, was it Toro? I thought it was uh, oh, no. Thomas Connect people was coming oh, yeah. off. They was coming off the boat. Right. And go like they walk on the port, and then the Jimenez people can meet them it's like y'all don't got no you know that should be here right and they like nah we got clearance and they're like nah, that's a minute's property now right and i got no no course be here they're like all right we leaving right first of all these dudes put <laughs> Jimenez had the machine guns yep and my man they had handguns handguns they're gonna try to have a shoot up with the machine guns, guns. So it's two of y'all <laughs> three of them they all three of them got machine guns you got handguns and you don't wait till you get to cover to start shooting at that guy. Them. You do the okie doka, hmm, like the Western. Right. Five, four. I'm like, come on, y'all. All you missing is a tumbleweed. Yo, that dude was, I, like, I saw that, like, come on now, really? Yeah, it it got to be better than that. That was, that was dumb. That was, that was, that was that. Power, come on, baby. Come on, y'all need to do better than that. Nobody, they just let them dudes walk away. Yeah. Or, or the men that just shot from the beginning. Yeah, right. You just run up to my shooter, shoot him. All right. Um, next thing we have, uh, we have. Angela going over the uh, Diaz case, you know what I'm saying? Um, the you know, rest of the you know uh, people in the office, they're looking at the who to connect. That's the biggest thing, who to connect. Right, so right. she's looking at the board, you know, going over her things, seeing who, you know they going over who took the eighty um, eighty six keys or whatever. Right. So they just going, you know, it's look like they're going over everything. All right. Then we have um, Tommy and Keisha. They talking. You know, Tommy walk in with his, you're cooking breakfast? Uh, you make the pancakes with the, with the bananas in there? He always, he always get there in time to eat. Right. All right. Next you know, he don't even eat breakfast. Right. She cook all these pancakes and he's the only one eating. So the funny thing is, they start talking, you know, of course, Tyree here to conversation. Yeah, he eavesdropping. On, on, he on, hustling. On his 50th secret conversation he overheard. <laughs> I think Tyreek has any secret conversations. <laughs> Why are y'all people still having conversations around these kids? Right. Alright. So we all know Tyreek's a fuck up. So right. why we keep having conversations around this man? Right. And y'all gonna be whispering. Right. And like, y'all, you know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, because I told Tasha I wanna know nothing. And, it's not, and I'm like, come on, y'all. Y'all gotta be more discreet. Can we have some discreet characters? Come on, now. Keisha wanna know so bad. Yeah, she wanna know. Yeah, she wanna know what's... <laughs> She yeah. just sit back like, look, yeah. but they not tell me for a reason. I need yeah. to chill. She want to know so bad. Yeah, you can't testify what you don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's that. All right, so then we got um, Angela and um, Tasha. They talking, uh, and, and they was talking about, um, you know, Angela gives Tasha the phone, you know what I'm saying, the burner. Right. She's asking, do you know, you know, do you, what you know, and, you know, they're going over everything about, you know, the, what's happening. Anybody that, um... That who knew who um, Tyreek knew um, the Ray Ray, Ray, Ray saying, so it was you know talking over that. You know what's funny about that? Nobody say nothing about the girl, the cousin. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she that that might come back. Yeah, because the um, Eternal Fans let you know about <laughs> right. that. So yeah, and that's the one over Angela's head right now. Right. And so so no one's paying attention to that. And then plus Tyreek's not you know reach out to Shorty. Right. You know what I'm so then you got um Tommy Ghost and Kennedy they, they get together. All right, they're talking about um you know. What happened with the Dre hit, and they don't know what's, what went wrong, and, right. and they're like, King's like, my guys had to drop, your ties messed it up, mm-hmm. and you know, we didn't know he had a gun, who gave him the drop? Right. And this is funny, because like, really nobody knew, <laughs> we still, Tom, you can't remember the part where you told Keenan, yeah, uh, Keenan people in the position, the only person who was there was Tariq who heard you, right. who mysteriously was supposed to say the... Right, they start faking. Eulogy and then runs <laughs> runs out. Come on now. Y'all, come on now. Y'all, y'all gotta do better. But then Jay, the guy Jay comes up, that's Tommy's correct uh, connect. He comes up, pulls up on him, and he's pissed because he, you know, his main guy killed. Right. His, his keys got killed. I mean he got took. So now he owes that Tommy owe me money. Like you only supposed to be working with ghosts. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I thought ghosts out the picture. He's like, uh yeah, right. And so now Tommy's connect saying, guess guess what? 
All you motherfuckers owe me money now. Right. And all you gotta get, now you gotta kill Jimenez. Hey. All right? And Andre, and whoever the hell you gotta kill. You know what I'm saying? Because if you want me to, you wanna stay alive. Right. So now they all in debt. And of course, Ghost is like, man, I'm trying to get up the game. But guess what? You're back in. Back in, Shorty. Tag team effort. All right, so now. Um, you got uh, the Jimenez, they took time to connect drug, drug they took drug um, shipment, so now, you know, everybody knows um, who took that. So, Dre, um, he, he goes with, um, um, go visit Diego, you know, Diego out there busting two girls at one time. He's freaking off. Freaking off, Dre, Dre walks in. Sales. Yeah, Dre walking in like, oh man, I come back, nah, he's like, stay, stay <laughs> watch me fuck, come on, man. So, he's sitting there watching them, but then they, um, um, after he's done having sex, Dre, um, Diego tells Dre, Hey, he's telling them they derived the shipment from um, Thomas Connect, and you know uh, the, the Toros, the, the Toros got the, uh, the, the the rated, they got rated for A6 keys. Right. So they, you know, they explaining what happened, and so Dre sitting there, he's like, he's telling Dre, yo, you gotta fix it. This is your issue, you know. Let me just know, let us know what you need, but this can't come back as no gangster stuff. Right. You know, you gotta figure it out <laughs> what you're gonna do, but we don't want a whole bunch of bodies. We'll fall because at the end of the day, that's gonna bring heat on us. Right. All right. So you gotta fix it. So Dre like, all right, I got you. And he just tell Dre, can't can't fuck it up. You gotta get that Toros stuff fixed up. All right. Um, because hey, you gotta get my money back too. Right. <laughs> Eighty six keys ain't uh, it's a lot of keys. All right. So then you got Mop. He in there talking to uh, what's on that Saxon? What's the old man, the black guy, the other other turn guy, all right. uh, the bald headed guy, the one who has uh. But um, they Mark wasn't trying to hit uh the blind the blind theory on St. Right, Patrick. Right. You know the guy was like, well, you know, we can use her. And he's like, nah, man, not, it's, it's not, not gonna use, work. It's not gonna. She work. didn't see him. She didn't see him. I I I ain't gonna use it. So, but then he said he tells him he got his own angle, he got his own witness. So he's like, you know, he let them. Don't worry, I don't like what y'all doing, but we gonna, I'm gonna fix something. Up. I got something up. All right. So next up, we got Councilman Tate. And Ghost, they talking. Tate wants some um, Ghost to use his um, daughter's death for publicity and, um, and money. So basically, he's trying to use it. You know, he's like, hey, you know, we can use this to get for the Q, uh, Q, QCP project. Right. You know, get some donors. You know, so you know, Ghost is like, all right, me, I would be pissed. Like, come on, stop using my kid. Right. I need like, some money, man. Like, my and kid. Ghost, no, no Tasha, not going for that. Yeah. So <laughs> when he tells him, well, I'll talk to Tasha about it. Tate's like, all right, well, let me know because you know we need to make this happen. All right, so the next scene we got Carmine. He's um, you know, he's he tells um Tom he's gonna tell Vincent what happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Sammy, he's there. He's like, you know, Tom's like, what happened? Like, right. he's like, man, your man had to drop. He had a gun on us. And he's like, man, so he's like, do him right there. Right. Yeah, Sammy's like, no, nah, um, that's not how we, we do it. We don't hold like that. Yeah, we don't do that like yeah, that. Yeah. So he's like, well, let me get a chance to make it right. I'll make it right. I'm gonna go visit Teresa. So Sam's like, all right, you know, go visit your father and do because everything they're doing with Tommy, they like it's on the arm. It's like a, mm -hmm. a million dollars for credit. But right. Tommy, <laughs> but Tommy took took five hundred thousand dollars with the break. Right. You know, right. so I'm like, like damn, Tommy, like your, your people give you a million dollars worth of credit, and your ass only took half. It's credit. It seemed like like in, like in real life, something like that was really what happened. Like you you get with a new like Tommy is really hood. Yeah. And, he get a chance to be with somebody else, but he already messing it up. Yeah. They're making a bad name for the dad yeah, already. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, man, I can't keep covering you, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, so next thing we have Mock. Uh, Mock, he went to go visit Proctor. He wants Proctor, he tells Proctor, I need you to just, I want you to snitch on the client. I'll drop the whole case, on, you know, on my, like the case about the bar, you get your license back and all that. The Proctor's looking at him like, nah. You going to break the law. Yeah, break, break the law. Yeah, <laughs> Mock's like, hey, you got you need this job to feed your, your family, you know, right. your daughter. So, you know, Proctor, he's looking at him like, all right, whatever. Uh, get out of here. So then, um, uh, Tasha uh, go start talking. Tasha says no, of course, to the publicity and all that. I'm not trying to do no press conference with <laughs> my daughter, you know. And she she tells Ghost, I want to send um, Tariq to coach. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, Ghost is like, nah, I want to stay close. I need, I need, I want, I don't want to take my eyes off my kid. But right now. all this time, all you do is take your eyes off him. Ghost, you ain't got time to watch the kid. <laughs> you out there, you know what I'm saying, trying to come for the murder. You gotta find, you know, you gotta kill the Jimenez. Right. You gotta do all this stuff. You ain't got time to watch Tyreek. All right, I don't think he's boy on punishment. I think he's on self punishment. When he wanna go, he comes and goes as he pleases. I did in that playing video games and everything. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Still ain't take no cell phone for the man, but whatever. All right, so now we got uh, Dre finds out about uh, the Torres beefs and from Chris Ball. Chris Ball tells him, hey, this will happen with the Torres beef. Uh, let's kill one, of the, kill the one guy, Lorenzo. He was he. He killed the guy you really, you really who was the head boss because so he could try to be boss. Right. But um, it was funny because uh, Dre was like, "Nah, we gotta uh, kill him." 
But we 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 can't make it look like right. it's a street thing. We gotta make sure they did it in, in the workings. Right. We gotta get some hitters. Yeah, hit and, and then we gotta kill, kill the hitters. hitters. You know what I'm saying? So Dre set a second man in charge. Whatever his his homeboy was sitting there like, all right, he's sitting there like he over he over here the plan, but he's like, all right, his his job was just go get the the product. Right. You know what I'm saying with the shipment. So he's like, all right. So at the end of that, they had a plan. So they knew they knew the plan was going to be. It was crazy pants, but they had a plan. Alright, so then you got Kanye and Ghost, they talking to the car after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then that's what Kanye King, King, King was telling the Ghost, like, yo, you're something really a gangster. He about this life. Right. The Ghost, like, I don't want that life for him. Right. Even if you think he is, I don't want him to be where we at. You right, know right, right, right. And he's like, well, you know, I just think the boy, he built for it. Right. And like, uh, he, he, he's. Yeah, ready. Right. Basically saying he's ready. Yeah, but even you know, if I was like, yo, I don't want my son out here in the street, yo. Like, he shouldn't, he don't have to be. Alright, these guys, yeah. these kids out there, savages. Alright, the savages. Alright, so and, and um Kenan when they was in the, when they was in the car he, he threw a shot at Tommy like oh, yeah. Tommy went around you be out of it. Yeah, yeah, because they threw that, that shot at the ghost ghost had that look over there. Yeah, he said Dre be dead. <laughs> but it really wasn't Tommy fault. If stupid ass son Tyreek don't give Dre the heads up on it, but whatever. Alright, so Mark and um Mark go visit um, the lawyer Terry to testify in the case against Proctor. Alright, so he tell him um Terry's like, yo, oh, you know, I need you to um, testify. To testify against uh, Proctor, Terry's like, oh, I, don't, I don't want to. He said, why not? He's like, you know, you got, I know you got bad things to say. Only if, you, if you had never good things to say, you will testify. Right. He's like, yeah, nah. But he's like, Mark knows something there. So Mark subpoenas him like, you got to come now. If you know, if you ever been subpoenaed, you know, you got to come. All right. So, um, all right. Ghost tells um, Tasha about the guy Brains. The only person who knows about Tariq, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what um, um, Kanan told Ghost about the guy Brains. Like, hey, he's doing licks with um, Tariq, so he's the only one to know about Tariq. Right. And that's yeah, Tariq, Tariq knew from um, Ray Ray. Yeah, he hadn't been around in a while. Right, so he, he ain't been around, so Tasha's like, all right, bet. She act like, you know, she's going over here, whatever. So then Tasha tells Angela about Brains. Mm -hmm. Tasha does what? Look it all up. Finds out Brains dead, Country dead, right. everybody dead. Right. All them dudes is running the street, but then Angela's like, why was Tariq running with these guys? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they snatching and grabbing. You know, Tariq got money. They ain't got to snatch and grab. Right. So she's like, how did, she want to ask Angela how she know. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how Angela, you know. She, she, they hope they hope finger pressing that. It's going to come back on Tariq. Yeah, definitely will come back. <laughs> All right, so then um, Sax, Angela, they having a meeting. Um, Angela's breaking down the case that she's trying to build against the Jimenez and all that good stuff. She tells she tells Sax, you know, do some sex writing the paper. Hell no, he ain't doing nothing. He, so, you know, Sax, he has his mind. He wants to Angela's spot. Right. You know, he's like, he deserves, he thinks Angela's corrupt. And she not, she doesn't deserve the position she has. So, Sax is definitely trying to backdoor. All right. Um, all right, so, Teresi, uh, Tommy go visit Teresi in jail. Teresi tells Tommy he needs to fess up to vent him what he did. And he tell, he asked him why he didn't do, you know, it's funny how like you you invited you, you invited guests but you invited the most important yeah. guests. <laughs> yeah, you got you know Vincent got to know about everything. <laughs> right. You, you can't do things you know behind. It's not the streets. Right. I, and I knew I knew I knew it was gonna go downhill from the city when it talked to them dudes behind. Yeah. They already knew. Yeah, it's gonna go back. <laughs> right. It's organized crime. If you know what organized crime is, they're organized for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's not other way you around. Chain of command. Chain, chain of command. Cause you gotta see that man mm -hmm. on the way back. You can get killed for doing stuff like that. Right. All right. So um. Terry, um, to practice in court, he's going. He's 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 telling the uh, the uh, the head, one of the ladies, the the, the, the masters, whatever. And he's trying to explain to them why he's a good defense attorney. He's like, look, you know, I'm not a criminal because I defend criminals. Because she tried to say, since you know your father, your biological father is a criminal. Right, you got acquitted for murder. Yeah, so he's like, nah, I changed my name because I don't want that to hinder me. In the case, in the case, I want to know why. So just because I surround myself with criminals, for me, I'm going to be a criminal myself. So you know, he's telling, he had a good case built up on that. But then my man Terry comes in, mm -hmm. and he, he does what he does best. He throws practice under the bus. <laughs> you know, he's think he think he's telling the truth, but he doing the same thing for, with Tasha that right practice doing with did with Ghost. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, and he don't he said he trying to play the the role because he, he said it to him said was Ghost innocent. He's like, yeah, so did I give him bad advice when I tell him don't take this deal because you're innocent? He's like, no, nah, that's it. And he's like, but still, it's gray area. Nah. He said, so you never did that? He's like, nope. <laughs> well, don't worry, Terry. You got to answer to those words. Right. Those, those words is going to come back to get you. All right, so then next scene, Dre, his goons killed the... Uh, Kills uh, the uh, the guy from Torres, Lorenzo. Right. Right. Uh, it's funny because man was riding was uh, who's driving it? Spice, 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 Spice. 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 So the other guy's like, yo, 
Yo, we gotta go kill this guy. We gotta kill him. So he's like, nah, nah, don't do nah, it. Nah, do it, man. That's not that's not what we was told to do. Right. Nah, man, we got that's what we gotta do. So he spin the bin, they kill him, he all pumped, yeah, we killed him. Yeah, ha ha. He think he did a good thing. Alright, so they, he happy he's going cause the guy's like, you be number two. But that was funny with like, three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they got it all planned out. Alright, um uh, so Ghost uh, didn't want um, Tasha to talk to the, uh, the, the people in the meeting that they had because the preacher, preacher man runs a, a grief group for uh, grieving you know, parents. And uh, so, uh, you know, one guy tells the story about the, the guy who's still drinking and driving, mm-hmm. killed his son and stuff like that. But um, Tasha wanted to speak and Ghost like, yo, you can't talk that, to these people. Mm-hmm. Nah, this isn't, you got to understand, we're not dumb. We right. live a different life. We're criminals. We know who killed our kid. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, we know everything. We can't be out here as great, you know, airing our dirty laundry because all this stuff come back, bite us back in our ass when someone testify against us and stuff like that. Information is the key. You know, right? All right. So Tate talks to Ghost, um, and you know, it tells him, "Hey, come by tomorrow during the um, QVC um, project, and we will have you know, Britt Tasha with you. Right. We can talk. You know, we can show our presentation. Right. What we're going to do. All right." Um, During that time, he, 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 he yo, 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 ready to run for uh, take governor. up the governor. All right, David Dickens. All right, so he's he's going for he's going for the gusto. He's right. trying. He's making big While moves. The cattle is high. I'm gonna go and yeah, make moves. He's making. He's making. I'm in the spotlight. He's making these moves. All right. Um, so James, he called Angela. Angela won't answer. Right. You know, and Angela won't answer. And it's right. And it's like she's about to answer, but my man uh, comes in. It's like uh, assistant, like oh, I'm glad you ain't doing like St. Patrick guy. Right. So yeah, she he ain't doing that. And then he called. He called another time when um, when she's just getting ready to sit down with yep. um, with Tasha. Yep. <laughs> to ask that joint. Uh, mm-hmm. So Dre he pissed off that his boy killed Lorenzo and then followed the plan. His boy did. He yo hype. Yeah, I did. I killed two birds with one stone. Right. You know you ain't got. We save all those bodies. Yeah, he's like dummy. We had money. a plan. Christopher looking at him like. This is why you, you, you know when what, what did Chris Ball say from Jump Street? He said, "Let me talk to you, Dre." And what Dre said? No, he good. He good. <laughs> we went. And that's why Chris Ball probably died. This is why I tell you when we have conversations. That's why we gotta have conversations because we don't need dummies like this going above and beyond rank. So he does. He does. So Dre tells him like, "Yo, this is dumb. Get out of here. Let me talk to Chris Ball." Chris Ball's like, "Yo, you know you got problem now because <laughs> the kids can't trace back to us." Dre's like, "I got a plan." He goes out there, tells man, "Yo, you keep you." you yeah, you gotta follow rule. You have one objective. He said, "Man, when you become boss, cause I am the boss. We ain't friends. I don't care where you met me, where I was. Now I'm the man." You're like yo, like you was nobody. Right. <laughs> he like you somebody. Mean, you know he, he, he called him. He called him boy. He, he cursed. Yeah. He like boy. Yeah. Like he called him Francis. Whatever his name is. Yeah. I don't know his name is, but he called him that. So that's what that was. So and Fifty, I don't know if you saw, yeah, but Fifty, 50 was sitting back watching. So, so you know, Fifty going, uh, Kenan, yeah. Kenan going to go ahead. He sees, he sees, he sees, he sees work. He say, oh, something going wrong. He, he's pissed. <laughs> All right, so uh, Tariq, the next thing he's playing victim when Tosh comes in the um, room. And, mm-hmm. Oh, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah, well, fault. yeah, whatever. You still out here trying to? I want to know he want to do that information that he heard that you know to get an alibi now. That's right. the, that you know, Keisha's gonna use him as the alibi, mm-hmm. so. You know, you're gonna tell Dre that too. <laughs> Alright, then um, Tate, um, Councilman Tate puts Ghost and Tasha on the spot. They walk in, it's a press conference. Right. Councilman Tate sees them, hey, come up, you know, and they, Ghost, he says a couple words, but they can greet her mother. Right. Tasha couldn't wait. And then, damn sure, my it's baby. It's all our fault. Yeah, it's all, it's all our fault, and she tearing up and all that stuff. What well, Councilman Tate wanted. Right, he, he definitely wanted that. He wanted that because that's going to bring more people, um, you know, sob stories and stuff like that. And donors and all that donors stuff. Donors and all that stuff. So after that, Kate, um, t- t- uh, Tasha's telling the ghost, that's fucked up, bitch. You know, you put me on the spot. Right. Yeah, he's like, I ain't know nothing about this. <laughs> yeah, he Tate put us on the spot. Right. And he tells Tate, that's messed up. Tate, like, man, look. <laughs> We got we get, we gotta get this money, man. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. This the legal way. Alright. So Tommy tells Vincent um what happened. Vincent, he you know, he's he's, he's pissed, but he's sitting there like, alright, you know, did you did, did you fix it? Did you fix it? Sammy vouched for him and yeah, like he fixed it. <laughs> no, he did fix it. But um now you gotta pay but now he got Show them at fifty percent of drug profit. Right. So now you gotta give a deal. You know and he got and he got get a family some money. And he got get family money. You know, two greedy families stuff like that. So, you know, Tommy effing up again. <laughs> the kid got a good point about Tommy. He do be fucking up. Right. All right. Um, uh, Sammy steals Tommy right at the end of the scene. Pop him. Pop him in the face. That's my last time lying for he you. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it to him. He said, "I'm doing this on the strip of your father." <laughs> he said, "I told your father I won't let nothing happen to you, but I'm gonna beat you up." <laughs> All right. Um, 
uh, to a nigga in the club scene, uh, Dre, I I forgot Dre worked at the club, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I said, damn, it's still like, true open? What club is this? I don't know, what's going on? Right. All right. So uh, they in the club, and um, what's my man, uh, uh, Diego, right. tells Tommy, hey, me not Tommy, tells Dre, hey, look, I need you to go, um, you know, have sex with this girl. In the bathroom, he's like, all right. Dre was like, man, I'm working, man. He's like, nah, do it. And then Ghost is in the club. Nobody knows Ghost in the club. I know, cause you, they, they, you most likely be like, if Jay St. Patrick come in the club, uh, DJ be like, Jay St. Patrick, Patrick in the man. building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we got, you know, club wear. You know, they got club, club, they got dress code. He in, his, he in his sweatpants and all that stuff. So whatever. Well, Dre couldn't have sex with the girl. Or he wasn't trying to have sex at first. The girl like, if we don't have sex, we both gonna die. Mm. So you know. Dre, he's out there hitting it, and then Diego walks in, like, knocking the watch you. <laughs> Dre wasn't for that shit. Dre's like, I'm out of here. He ain't gonna watch me pound no pussy. <laughs> so he leaves. Um, you know, then at the end, um, uh, Ghost, he kills the, uh, the the drunk driver that killed the young boys. Right. And uh, the, the coach, Ghost of Vinland, he's a crown stopper now. Man, Ghost hitting the, hitting the bottle hard. Hitting the bottle hard. So, you know, that's basically the recap of, um, you know, the whole episode. Another good one in the books. Another good one in the books. Uh, for our power character of the week, you know what I'm saying? You know, drum roll. Councilman Tate. Councilman Tate. He make a power move. Make a power moves. He's running for governor. That's like, a big thing. Don't go for nothing from city council or whatever yeah. to the governor. governor. So he's definitely, he's he's doing a lot of, you know, whispering and ghost in <laughs> right. and telling him. And he's setting ghost up. You don't know? remind me of a little bit. What? If anybody watched Game of Thrones, like Little Finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it don't happen to Little Finger right. eventually. Yeah, yeah. Sooner or later. But, <laughs> but Councilman Tate, he's playing, he's playing his cards. He's trying to. Use ghosts mm-hmm. in this situation right. for the, his benefit. Right. Right? Cause after you get to governor, he don't know, he don't know who James S. Patrick is. Right, right. Uh, he can't even get a meeting with that man. Right, you know right. What I'm <laughs> so remember, it's just Ryan Stringer Bell and my man. Um, what's my man? She. Oh, oh. I forgot. Why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it reminds me of that the relationship. All right. So y'all yeah, know what it is. Least uh, your comments, whatever you feel about the episode, go watch the episode of five. The uh, five most uh, hated characters. characters. So let us know how you feel about this episode, alright? Like, share, subscribe. We out.